for joining us. Well, the Bank of England, no surprises, raised interest rates today by a quarter percent to 5.25 percent. Of course, if you were not so long ago paying 1 percent interest, it's another turn of the pain dial. The bank's thinking is that the rise is needed to choke off inflation by making millions of people feel less flush, applying a former chancellor's maxim that if it's not hurting, it's not working. So to gauge how the recent rises are affecting people, Joe Pikes in Burnley. You're welcome. John, have a quick one. In Burnley, Dave Fishwick is big. Come on, sweetheart. Just walking down the high street can take a while. I promise you, on the way back. And a lot of the people who want to talk to him have money on the mind. They said this morning it's gone up even more, and it's just crazy. You can't afford anything. Like, the houses we were looking at two years ago were like... £600 a month and now they're about a grand a month and it's like you can't, we can't afford it now. We got told that the banks are making billions more this year uh, from all the interests that are going up but we're not seeing it in any of our pockets no. or in any of the people who are actually saving. It's just getting uh, worse and worse at the moment. The Bank of Dave. <laughs> it's, it's catchy, very catchy. The story of Mr Fishwick's eponymous community lender, a local bank set up with local money, has been so successful, Netflix have turned it into a film. We are now costing people's jobs. Yet he is unconvinced by today's rate rise. I think what the Bank of England's done today by raising interest is going to cause an awful lot of problems for a huge amount of people in Burnley and in the surrounding area and across the UK. That quarter of a percent extra is going to be a tipping point. People are coming to me all the time, writing to me, speaking to me, ringing me, saying, Dave, I'm going to lose my house. You know, these mortgage rates are going through the roof. They're doubling and people have no spare money left. You're going to get to the point where you're going to tip off the end and they're going to be dropping the keys off at the mortgage company or the front door of the bank. Built on the boom in cotton cloth, clothing retailer Boohoo is now Burnley's biggest private sector employer. People commute from here to cities like Manchester and Leeds precisely because buying a home is more affordable, with an average property priced at around £130,000. And whilst the younger people we spoke to were most concerned by the economic outlook, there seems to be a generational split in who it'll affect. I think for my time in life, it, it's not going to affect me greatly, but it's, it's the youth of today and the people that are coming upwards that it'll affect more than anybody else. It's a heck of a lot harder for anybody now to, to get on the property ladder. Prices are coming down slightly, but it's going to be probably about five years before we, we get to the stage where we were just a couple of years ago. One rare ray of sunshine here is at Turf Moor. Burnley FC's promotion to the Premier League is the one thing going up that people are happy about. Rishi Sunak has made halving inflation his top priority. And in towns like this, a marginal seat held by the Tories with a lot of people on low income, that really matters. The effects of inflation are felt more here precisely because a larger proportion of household incomes is spent on essentials, like groceries and energy bills. So will the inflation rate rise start to bring down prices? And at what cost? Today's quarter point rise, it will cost us another £50,000 a year. Overall, the last 14 interest rate rises will put our overheads up about half a million pounds a year. Andrew Brown's hotel and spa resort employs 350 staff and attracts customers from across the North West. An extension to the leisure facilities here was supposed to cost £11.4 million, but has now risen to £14 million. And whilst his business is successful enough to withstand economic strains, he worries others are not. I think, personally, that they've overcooked the interest rate rises already. Uh, somebody uh, once said businesses go bankrupt very, very gradually and then all at once. So that's what happens. You know, a lot of people are hanging on by the fingertips and you know, the these things are possibly the last straw that breaks the camel's back. The Bank of England's formula to get inflation under control is clearly not to everyone's tastes. And it remains unclear whether its effects will filter through before the next election.